This e-presentation will provide an introduction to the role of the trans-theoretical model of behaviour change in relation to exercise. As a scientific community, we are often interested in the process that leads people to begin to engage in and then maintain healthy exercise behaviours. The trans-theoretical model helps us to understand the different stages in this process, from not being ready to change, through to contemplation, i.e. thinking about change, and then maintenance, or persisting with the behaviour. As we go through the presentation together, we will explore the five different stages of change and relate each stage to a real-world example. Following this, you will be asked to reflect on different scenarios and explain how these might relate to different stages in the model. The trans-theoretical model acknowledges that the stages of behaviour change are unlikely to be linear, and more likely to be cyclical, due to the fact that people often do not succeed in maintaining changes in their lifestyle. We like to think of this as a journey, and different roads can take you to different places, back to where you came from, or onto somewhere new. As we go through, we will discuss the five stages of the trans-theoretical model. These are labelled as pre-contemplation, contemplation, preparation, action, and maintenance. When a person is at the stage of pre-contemplation, they are considered to be not ready. Individuals at this stage are unlikely to engage in the healthy behaviour in the near future, which could be up to around six months. At this point in time, individuals are really encouraged to think about the positives and negatives of their current behaviour and why engaging in more healthy behaviour could be adaptive for themselves and others. At this stage, a person might be down about their inability to change or be defensive when encouraged to adopt new behaviours. They are really not prepared to change their lifestyle. As an individual moves from pre-contemplation to contemplation, they are said to be getting ready. At the contemplation stage, a person has the intention to engage in the healthy behaviour within the next few months, but could remain in this stage for up to two years. People at this stage appreciate the positives of changing their behaviour. However, they may still try to avoid action and continue to put the behaviour off. At this point in time, others can help the individual by reducing the negatives associated with the behaviour change. Someone in the contemplation stage might have a thought about adopting a particular behaviour, maybe taking up a new sport or exercise, but are unlikely to act on that thought. At this point, the person is beginning to think about changing their behaviour. Following contemplation comes preparation. In the preparation stage, an individual is ready to engage in action within the next 30 days. At this stage, a person takes gradual steps that will help make the behaviour part of their everyday life. In this stage, it is possible that a person is doing a small amount of exercise, but not quite enough to produce major benefits. An example might be to tell family and friends that they want to change their behaviour. At this stage, a key concern is regarding the individual's competence to do the behaviour and whether they are likely to fail. Being prepared and having a plan of action will help an individual to keep progressing. We might liken this to doing a warm-up before gradually easing ourselves into an activity. We are now at the point where action can be initiated. This is the fourth stage in the trans-theoretical model, and it can often take some time to get to this point. People in the action phase have initiated behaviour change within the last few months and need to keep working hard to keep the healthy behaviour as part of their life. Strengthening a person's commitment to the behaviour will help to stop the person slipping back down through the stages. At this point, it is valuable to learn techniques that can improve commitment, such as acknowledging the steps they have taken and avoiding people who might encourage more unhealthy behaviour. At this stage, our runner is doing well, but could quite easily relapse and begin walking again, because there's a lot going on. There are many different processes at play, and it is a challenge to maintain the healthy behaviour. The final stage in the trans-theoretical model is maintenance. People who progress to the maintenance stage have changed their behaviour several months ago. These individuals are encouraged to share their experiences and seek support from other people who behave in healthy ways. At this point in the model, it is important to have an awareness of potential situations that might cause the individual to slip back into more unhealthy patterns of behaviour. For our runner, it is important to challenge themselves, but also to be able to overcome potential barriers. When facing a big obstacle such as a hill, the self-efficacy or competence to know that they can make it to the top will encourage them to continue with the behaviour.
As we develop the trans-theoretical model further, there are some key processes in operation that enable an individual to transfer between stages. One key factor in whether a person changes their behaviour and makes progress is decisional balance. This relates to whether the positives outweigh the negatives of doing the behaviour. A second process is self-efficacy. If a person feels competent and able to effectively change and adhere to the healthy behaviour, then they are more likely to do so. In addition, researchers have identified ten processes of change which make progress more likely. This presentation serves to provide you with an introduction to the trans-theoretical model and by no means provides an in-depth discussion of all the key points for you. Your challenge now is to go away and learn more about the stages of change and be able to apply these scenarios into real-life examples.